gonna start working on doing a weekly show. Right now we're calling it the uh, Winking Buck Weekly. Uh, we're gonna try to bring you guys just a little bit more fun action. Uh, we're gonna have you guys on the show too, so you can give us insight. You'll do picks with us. Uh, but with that being said, don't be too hard on us for the first week. But uh, let's take off with picks for the week. All right, we're gonna start the week off. Uh, got me against Mike Green. Gas no breaks. Um, for Green, Tom Brady, he's got it for him to have a chance, really, the way he showed out on Thursday night, 26 points across four guys. He's got to have Tom Brady really put up some points. Um, the real, the big thing for me, I guess, to note on his team, Eifert was a guy that I really wanted, that I liked, and he's been surprisingly bad this year. So I, I guess I caught a break in the draft there, but it's it's a issue with Cincinnati as a whole. Um, on my side of the ball, I do like Sean McCoy a lot. Um, he was – out of practice yesterday, but they say it was a scheduled rest day, so hopefully they're not um, trying to pull the wool over our eyes and there's not some underlying issue with McCoy there. Um, T.Y. Hilton, I'm going to roll with T.Y. Hilton still. I need Andrew Luck to come back. He, he plays a lot better with Andrew Luck, um, but I am going to still provide that I'm going to um, start my studs. I don't really think it's early. It's too. I don't think it's been far enough in the season at this point uh, to start getting, start getting cute and trying to get creative with starting other guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with Mike, who's already had four players play this week. And both of them, I mean, all four of them combined for an average of six points. The magic number of fantasy football is 93.6 points. Uh, which if you hit that threshold, you have a pretty high chance of winning. He gets his first-round pick, Jay Ajayi, back. And, but, unfortunately, I think uh, it's going to be too much for him. Going against you, I have a lot of favorable matchups. One I like specifically is Michael Patrick going against the New York Jets. The Jets are solid on defense. Uh to what I believe the offense is, but Jordan Howard, great matchup against Tampa Bay, and LaShawn McCoy, uh, there, there's a reason why he was a first-round draft pick. And then you have Cam Newton, it's not the 2015 Cam Newton, but going against Buffalo and plus to be a structured rebuild year, I think you get over 100 points this week, and you win this one pretty uh, solid. All right. The next thing we got of the week, we got Terrence um, against Chris Powell, Switcher Sweets. I'm going to start with Terrence's team for this. On me, uh, Odo Beckham Jr. playing on Monday night. Is he going to play? Is he not going to play? Um, that's a hard call to make to wait to Monday night to see what's going to happen there. I don't know that I could wait, but uh, I really think for Terrence to have a chance here, he's got to hope that Odell Beckham goes and plays well. Uh, so I am going to pick Chris for the week. Even without luck, I think he's going to get it done. Um, Dez is currently on his bench. I fully expect him to put him in the lineup. Um, just like I said earlier, I think at this point in the year, everybody needs to really be starting their studs. So I'm going to take Chris Powell uh, in the matchup against Terrence. And I'm right there with you, uh, Mike. Uh, Terrence had Joe Mixon play on Thursday. He got him four points. Odell Beckham Jr. talks up. Uh, some are saying now it is now a six-week injury, uh, and his injury happened 26 days ago. So it's pretty iffy on what that is. And unfortunately for him, it's a Monday night game. Yeah. But yeah. – that's pretty much all he has for him. I like Doug Baldwin against San Francisco, but I don't think there's enough firepower there on Terrence's side. And look over at Switcher Suites, uh, Kareem Hunt, his breakout game last week in Melvin Gordon, and then you have Jordan Reed with his fracture tilt. But I think Chris has got a lot of firepower on his side of the ball. And then you have Kirk Cousins going against the L.A. Rams. So I don't, I don't like some of the matchups for Chris, but I do have him winning this one pretty solid. Um He's going to win this one by more than 20 points, that's for sure. All right. All right, our third game of the week, we got Freddie Thrower Jr., Mr. Jaron Brewer against Cody Powell, fourth down firepower. Uh, I'm going to start with Jaron here. Uh, for me, Jaron's got a little bit too much reliance on Denver. I, Emmanuel Sanders I'm not crazy about. Um, Demarius Thomas I do like him a lot, but you're really – at this point he's depending on both of those guys to have some out, some output and – Trevor Simeon, and who's your quarterback? Is it Paxton Lynch? Do you really think that those guys are going to have enough uh, to distribute the ball and get everybody points in the in the Denver uh, wide receiver core? The answer for me is that he doesn't. Uh, so I am going to pick Cody Powell this week. I like Cody's team. He's really balanced. Um, I, I like Cody's team a lot. I think he's got a chance to make some noise uh, in the year. Dak, for me, is great value where he drafted him at. Todd Gurley or Antonio Brown. When your flex play is Brandon Marshall, who I also like a lot, uh, you know you got a pretty solid team, so I am picking Cody to uh, to take down Jaron this week. And again, Mike, I'm right there with you. I'm also going to pick Cody, but first I'm going to go over here to Jaron's team. Who does he think this is? The 2013 Denver Broncos. He's got Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders as wide receivers. 
Uh, that's not a smart play at all on his part. And then he lost his first round draft pick, the number one overall pick, David Johnson. And if I have one thing to say, I have Sim. He is definitely under construction with this team. Uh, you have Deshaun Jackson. It's one play. Uh, that's all he's got, and that's going down the field. But that's not going to be enough to take down Cody, who has Antonio Brown, Ted Ginn, Travis Kelsey, Brandon Marshall. Just like I said, the Seahawks D going against San Francisco. That alone is going to outscore his running backs that Jaron has over there. And then you have Todd Gurley and the explosive Christian McCaffrey. I think uh, Cody Powell goes 2-0 and in the division and 2-0 to start the career. Uh, start the season for the second time in his career. I have Cody winning this one pretty handily again. All right, our fourth game of the week, we've got uh, Mark Woods, straight cash homie against Magnificent, Mr. Nicholas Hoof, our defending champion. Um, I'm going to start with Mark Woods. Uh, he's got Jameis Winston, uh, Mike Evans back this week. He's got him on his bench right now, but it, he's going to put those guys in the lineup. Uh, I, I like what Tampa Bay's got. I really, I'm a believer in Tampa Bay this year. I think they've got enough offense to to make a lot of noise. Um, I, I'm not going to say they're going to get deep in the playoffs, but for our purposes, Tampa Bay, I think, is going to provide a lot of value for some folks. Um, Magnificent. He's he's really depending on a Sunday night shootout between Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Freeman, Devontae Adams. Um, I am going to pick Mark Woods to win this game. I think that ultimately Jameis, uh, Mike Evans, I think they'll get a little bit of a slow start, but uh, I fully believe in, in what Mark's got going this week, and I think Mark's going to pull this out. And that's where I got to disagree with you, Mike. I have Nick uh, getting this win. I like the Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams stack. The number two wide receiver in Green Bay, uh, they've always scored double-digit touchdowns and had over 1,000 yards, and he's got Devontae Freeman as the kicker. I like it, and that's why this week specifically I have Nick as my boom play, my boom team of the week. Um, he's just got it over there. He's got solid at tight end. Um, his flex is iffy, but uh, he's going to have enough to carry over with Mark. And I look over at Mark's team. Uh, he didn't like his season uh, preview, and if you look at it, uh, the experts at ESPN are kind of favoring me when I look at Marshawn Lynch and Dalvin Cook. There's not a lot going on, especially with their uh, running backs. And then Carson Wentz going against Kansas City. And you do expect him to put Mike Evans in with a favorable matchup. But the question is, who's he going to take out Ashawn Jeffrey or Randall Cobb or possibly Adrian Peterson, who only got nine carries last week. So I think Nick pulls this out. Uh, it could be a close one, but I don't think there's going to be enough to uh, pull Mark over there, and that's why I disagree with you. I am a little bit higher on Marshawn Lynch than most people, so I do like that matchup as well. My uh, my fifth game of the week, uh, I've got the franchise against Belichick mate, Mr. John Hodges. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you take this second, Vic, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go out on a limb here. I am going to pick John to win this week. I'll tell you why. He's got a lot of guys for Atlanta and Green Bay. Um, it's similar to what Nick's got going on, but I just like what, uh, what John's got in that Sunday night shootout a little bit better. Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Ty Montgomery. I think those guys are all going to score. I'll get him some points. I think, I think he's got a lot of potential there. Um, for you, 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 you had a big show last week from Mike Gillisley and I can't really believe in Gillisley until I've seen it for three, four, five weeks here. Um, so I, I'm I'm still waiting on uh, Gillisley to show me something for a few more weeks. Um, he may do it very well. Could you obviously got Gronk Brady got to get back on track? Like I said earlier, for you to have some for some chance there. Um, but I do like John Hodges in that matchup. And if we had a sound the alarm bell right now, I'd be sending it off. Um, first, I want to start off with uh, John's team. I like his team. Tom Montgomery. I expect him to have a big play this week. Uh, Julio Jones and Mark Cooper, great combination there. And he's got a stack with Matt Ryan as QB. He did uh, switch out his defense from the Buffalo Bills to the Buccaneers. I do like uh, Nick's team, even though Lamar Miller only put up eight point teams. But I'm going to say it, upset of the week. Who saw it coming? I'm going to tell you why. Carson Palmer, he's going to Indianapolis, who gave up seven different 20-yard pass plays to uh, Jared Goff. And I think Carson Palmer is a wee bit better than Jared Goff. And then Ezekiel Elliott, he's going to clean house. Mike Gillisley, I believe this is the right call just because they're going to want to pound that ball and they're going to have uh, Gronkowski running everywhere. And that's going to be my most best matchup just because you have Julian Edelman out, you have uh, Danny Mandola out, and now uh, you just have 
Cooks and Hogan running up the sideline, and that's going to open things up for Gronkowski. And I believe I'm going to pull the upset on this one. All right. All right, sixth game of the week that we've got. Uh, it hurts so good. Joe Tiger against the Hood Rats, Mr. Billy Luna. Um, Billy's got some firepower. He's got Le'Veon. I think Le'Veon's going to get his points. Uh, for me, with Billy's team, he's going to have to get more out of DeMarco. Uh, for whatever reason, Jacksonville played well last week against Houston. Uh, so I don't see DeMarco getting it done. For him to have a chance there, he's got to get that. Uh, he does have Phillip Rivers. I like Phillip Rivers a lot. Um, he's been steady, Eddie, consistent his whole career. Uh, but I don't, I don't think he's got enough to get it done this week. So I am going to take Tiger in this matchup. I really like Stafford. Stafford's playing on Monday night, so I expect Tiger to, to either be real close to the lead or, or in the lead. And I don't know that Stafford's going to matter a lot come Monday night. Uh, but if he does, Stafford's going to get his. I like Jordy Nelson, Michael Thomas. I just think in the end, um, he just got too much going this week against Billy. Uh, but I do, I do think that's going to be a close game, probably our, our best game of the week in my opinion. Uh, but I am taking Tiger there. Uh, this is where we split again, Mike. I'm going to go ahead and start with Tiger, and I'm going to tell you why he's going to lose. He's got C.J. Anderson going against the Ca Dallas Cowboys defense. Again, I say it again, Dallas Cowboys defense. For the past 11 games, they've only allowed 67 rushing yards. Uh, that's pretty big. I think C.J. Anderson, he'll make up for it if he falls in the end zone. But then Javoris Allen, he just got him off the waivers this week, so what's he saying? He's not confident in his team. And then you have Jordan Nelson. He's going to get his money. And then Michael Thomas, there's a reason why New England went out there and paid $6 million for a cornerback. And then I'm going to go over here to the Hook Rats. You're right. DeMarco Murray has to get in the end zone. Le'Veon Bell, I expect him to bounce back from his 30-yard play. Uh, Antonio Gates and Phillip Rivers, I like the stack. Um, and they're going to try and get Antonio Gates that uh, record that he's been reaching for. And that's part of the reason why he did come back this week. Uh, Billy did try and get cute having a Thursday night player. And again, he kind of bit the bullet on that one with 2.6 points. He took out Carlos Hyde, who had Seattle. Uh, but there's no switchback on that for some reason. Uh, I don't know why he didn't want some. But I have the Hood Rats winning this one. It's going to be a close one. I think it should be one of our closest games of the week. Uh, but I think Billy gets it within 10 points. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to continue to try to do this every week, uh, make it a little bit more interesting, get everything out there. So please tell us what you like, what you don't like, uh, that you love me, that you don't like Victor. Whatever you got going on, uh, please drop us some comments. Uh, let us know what you did and didn't like, and uh, you'll be seeing from us all year, and we're going to have some of you guys on the show, so be on the lookout uh, to be some of our guests.